you guys. Hope everybody's doing good. I have been tagged, so this is my response video to my tag. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing my bandana in this fashion, it's because, uh, well, quite frankly, I don't know how to tie a bandana. So, yeah, this is how I, so I'm going to wear it until somebody shows me how to tie it. And also, there's a very vague symbolic reason why I'm wearing this bandana in this manner. But you'll find that in a minute. So, I decided I was going to tell a story that I don't think I've told anybody in our group. So, here it goes. One summer eve, I was taking an adventure to visit a family member of mine in Jefferson County, Alabama, also known as Morris. The wonderful town of Morris. Anyways, so, you know, make a stop in Hartzell at the gas station and get me a sun kiss and a Kit Kat, because, you know, you can't go on a trip on a summer eve without it. I mean, it's like your right-hand man. It's like gasoline to the car. You just don't go without it. So, you know, I'm cruising, making good time, uh, smooth sailing, get off of Morris, and it was the first time I'd been there in a really, really long time, so I didn't really remember exactly which road it was, but anyways, so I'm getting there and there's this light and there's a gas station on the left, right, and I was pretty sure that you're supposed to turn at the light, right, so I kind of start pulling into this road and about halfway into the turn I realized well I don't I don't this isn't right you know I didn't recognize the road so I decided that I was just gonna you know try to get out real quick because it must have been the next turn right you know just you know it's it's like 11 30 at night nobody's on the road you know so it doesn't really matter you know mostly just because I didn't want to see anybody to make my silly mistake but anyways so, let me fix my bandana here. Uh, so, I decided that I was going to go by the gas station. I wanted a, wanted a drink for tomorrow because they didn't have anything at their house or whatever. But. So, I kind of go past and get in the little turnaround lane. And about the time I got in the turnaround lane, I see the blue lights. Yeah, the fuzz. I see them streaking down Highway 31. So of course I'm just sitting there like all like oh I wonder, wonder who they're gonna get I wonder you know what's going on you know some massive crime spree that they're gonna go stop you know what cool thing could they be doing and of course as I start turning they start turning too so I'm just like okay maybe he just missed his turn too just like I did you know hey it happens so I'll pull into the gas station. And look in the rear view, and he's still behind me. Yeah. Popo, right behind me. So I'm sitting there thinking, okay, you know, I know I wasn't speeding. I know, you know, there's nothing going on. I'm just trying to get my sister's house. It's late, you know, I just want to drink, whatever. So I just sit there chilling out, okay, you know, maybe he's just wondering what the world I'm doing out there at 11 o'clock at night. So he comes up to the window, and he's like, you know, how's it going, sir? I was like, uh, going all right. You know, he's like, so where are you headed to this evening? I was like, well, you know, head to my sister's house, you know. He's like, oh, oh. I said, okay, where, where's that at? Of course, I'm sitting here thinking, it's like, I don't know the road name. Like, I know how to get there. I just I just don't know the road name. He was just like, huh, okay, interesting, you know. So, uh, what's with the weed eater in the back? Okay, and long story short, I was going to do some yard work, so I packed the weed eater up, right? And so, apparently, this guy, police officer, thought I was some weed-eating, thieving, mass, weed-eating serial killer or something, like... So, anyways, um, so, he's like, oh, you know, okay, you know. So he's like, well, let, let, can I see your driver's license and registration and all that stuff? And he goes back to the car, you know, he just kind of comes back a few minutes later and he's just like, oh, well, would, would you mind stepping in the car for a minute? I'm just like, um, okay. 
So I kind of step out, and he just kind of looks at me, shines this little flashlight thing, and he shines in my face. And he's like, uh, have you been drinking tonight? Have anything to drink? You know, anything I need to know about? I was like, well, uh, no, sir. Nothing but my son kissed right there on the console. He's like, okay. Are you under the influence? Are you know, anything I should be aware of taking medications? I was like, um, I was like no, sir. All I've had was a uh, Kit Kat bar. Yeah. So I was like, oh, 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 okay. He's like, well, do you know why I pulled you over? I was like, no, sir. I have no idea. <laughs> he was like, well, uh, you were a little swervy back there. You know, you made, made me get a little... little Suspicious, you know. I'm just like, I, I just, I was just taking the wrong turn. Like, I just pulled in the wrong drive. He's like, okay. So, anyways, so then he says, well, would you mind doing some sobriety tests for me? So I'm just like, well, you know, sure, why not? But by this point, like, he's asking so many questions that, like, I am so innocent, I'm becoming guilty. Like, right in front of his eyes, like. I don't even know how to describe it, like, you know, and apparently some people say when I, you know, I'm so innocent that I could pass as a drunk person, you know, so I don't know what that's all about, but anyways, so, you know, do all the sobriety tests, you know, everything's going fine, you know, and right before he, like, he, we did the little walking thing, you know, he, he's like, you know, you got anything on you, I was like, well, of course, you know, I don't have anything on me, like, no knives, no weapons or anything, but what I had forgotten was that I had my small two-inch utility pocket knife in my left pocket. And I just told this officer that I didn't have anything on me. So he starts sort of patting around, making sure. Of course, he comes across and he's like, you know, what's this? And I'm just like, um, I forgot all about that. Like, the only reason I had it is because I'm doing yard work tomorrow and I use it to, oh, okay. So he takes it off and puts it on his car. By this time, I'm like, dude, I'm goner. I'm arrested. You know, I'm I'm like freaking out at this point. Like, I was so innocent to begin with, and then I just turned guilty, and I'm I'm gone. I'm a criminal. So, pass all the sobriety test, and it didn't help this whole time. You know, I had the weed eater and the gas can in the back, so I had the windows down the whole time. So like my eyes were like bloodshot red. So I'm sure this guy thought I was drunk. Like by the, I mean, I just don't even know. I was so nervous. I, I like it was like a blur at this point. So anyways, pass all, you know, pass all the tests, blah, blah, blah. He's like, okay, well, I can't get anything on you tonight, so good luck finding where you're going. And I was just like, I'm done. I'm so done. It's such a nerve-wracking event. Anyways. Well, that's my story. I hope you all enjoyed this story. And I hope all of you are doing well. And as far as the tag is concerned, Stephen, my man. I am tagging you. You are tagged. You got 10 days. Post a video. Bye, everybody. Love you guys.